Chase got a lot of hate for exposing the cheaters, but was he telling the truth? Charlie got cheated on by Chase, and a few months later, her sister Dixie also got cheated on by Griffin. How did all this happen? In today's video, we're going to talk about the cheating scandals that happened recently between Chase and Charlie and Dixie and Griffin. The Backstory March 20th, 2020, The Breakup Charlie and Chase were dating for about three months. They were publicly exclusive, even though Chase took every opportunity to remind the world that it wasn't official. But in March, Josh and Jaden, the famous TikTok brothers, dropped a huge diss track about Chase. In the diss track, they said that Chase tried to hook up with Josh's girlfriend, Nessa, while he was dating Charlie. April 13th, 2020. Whether they were true or not, the rumors about Chase cheating were too much to handle. In April, Charlie and Chase announced that their TikToker romance had come to an end. The reasons weren't clear, but the couple was very friendly with each other and promised that they were still close friends. Both couples even said that they still loved each other, but they also included that the breakup has been very hard for both of them, so they asked to please not talk about it anymore. But it was a little hard to not talk about it, especially when it looked like they might get back together. June 9th. 2020. Back together? Two months after their public breakup, Charlie and Chase started posting videos together again. They put flirty captions like, The Boy and Long Time No See. Many Chase and Charlie fans hoped that this was a normal on-again, off-again romance, and maybe the cheating rumors were all lies that Josh and Jaden came up for clout. Besides, it seemed like Chase and Charlie really cared for and respected each other, so maybe there was no cheating at all. But in July, things got wild. July 6th, 2020. The cheating scandal. Out of nowhere, Charlie tweeted, then deleted, quote, I hope she was worth it, smiley face. Then, Charlie uploaded some beautiful revenge pics with a caption, quote, your loss. On top of that, a bunch of current and former members of the Sway House unfollowed Chase. Chase and Charlie broke up three months ago, and they said everything was cool between them. But then they started a public couple's fight. Charlie is usually so friendly and sweet, so why the sudden change? Chase answered everyone's confusion when he tweeted, quote, all this drama going on because I kissed Nessa when we were both single. Charlie and Chase had never fought publicly before, but this time, Charlie was fed up, and she wasn't about to let Chase play with her anymore. She responded to Chase's tweet, saying, quote, Then you shouldn't have come to my house after without telling me. Even if they were already broken up, Charlie didn't think it was fair that Chase was playing with both her and Nessa, hanging out with Nessa, then showing up at Charlie's place on the same day. Chase's replies filled up with hate comments, like, quote, Eat, quote, Boo-hoo, you suck, quote, I was rooting for y'all. You let me down, Chase. You let us all down. Chase also started getting hate from other famous TikTokers, especially boys from the Sway House who tweeted things like, quote, please don't act like my homie when I see you, and, quote, keep your circle small. Everybody loves Charlie, and they were ready to defend her when they saw that Chase did her wrong. But Chase didn't think it was fair that all this drama was going on the internet for the world to see while everyone else would have had a private life. He was especially annoyed that the Sway Boys were criticizing him when he thought they were just being hypocrites. That's when Chase dropped the bomb. Quote, Since all my drama has to be put on the internet for the world to judge me, let's lay out everyone else's. He then went on to accuse many famous TikTok boys of cheating on their girlfriends. He said that Dixie, Charlie's sister, was also cheated on by her boyfriend Griffin. He said the boys Jaden and Josh cheated endless amounts of times on Mads and Nessa, and even Keo, who is publicly a huge sweetheart, cheated on Olivia. At first, everyone thought that Chase was just trying to deflect the attention from himself. Charlie responded to the tweet and told Chase, quote, Stop deflecting your actions onto others because you can't take responsibility, Chase. Want me to talk about how you treated me throughout our relationship, or do you just want to continue to play the victim? Dixie responded to the cheating allegations about her boyfriend by telling Chase, quote, You're wild. Stop playing the victim and worry about yourself. July 7th, 2020. 
Dixie cheated on? The next day, all the people mentioned in the iconic tweet started speaking out and saying that Chase was a liar. Dixie's boyfriend, Griffin, tweeted, quote, Someone come get this kid off the internet. Anthony Reeves, who lives in the Sway House with Josh and Jaden, confirmed, quote, Josh and Jaden never cheated. In fact, he's never, ever even seen them touch another girl. Keo hopped on Twitter to simply say, quote, where the F did this come from? Chase's ex, Cynthia, even sent her own tweet. She said, quote, during our relationship, all I wanted was for Chase to own up to his mistakes and issues. This is so private and unnecessary. Instead of throwing everyone else under the bus, own up to your own shit. Somehow you've dated two minors that are still more mature than you've ever been. But the Sway Boys took it to the next level. Jaden was even so angry about the lies that he showed up at the Hype House to talk to Chase in person. He said that Chase should have had a conversation with him, quote, like men, instead of spreading lies on the internet. It turns out the boys never fought, and Jaden later tweeted that they didn't fight, they just talked, and now it's over. Later, Chase retweeted it to show that there really was no beef between the boys. But it wasn't over. Not everyone was mad at Chase. In fact, Keo's ex, Olivia, tweeted, thanking Chase and saying that there are two sides to every story, insinuating that what he said about Keo was true. Keo was very upset by this. He said that Olivia broke up with him very suddenly and didn't seem to care, and now he realizes that it might have been because she believed a rumor about him cheating. Keo pointed out that Olivia was happy and partying when they broke up, but he was crying and couldn't eat for days. Now he knows that it's because she believed lies on the internet. But were they all lies? A few more people suggested that Chase was telling the truth. For example, one girl came forward and shared that Jaden asked her if she wanted to have while he was still dating Mads. This might explain why Mads was seen crying on her Instagram Live before she and Jaden broke up. If Jaden's cheating rumors are true, then maybe his brother is a cheater as well. This might also give us some insight into Josh and Nessa's sad breakup. Really, out of all the couples that Chase mentioned in his tweet, only one was still together, and that was Dixie and Griffin, but not for long. July 31st, 2020. The truth revealed. A few weeks after Chase exposed the cheaters, Fan noticed that Dixie had unfollowed Griffin on all social media and Griffin changed his Twitter header from a photo of him and Dixie to a photo of him and his friends. The reasons weren't clear, but soon we found out. A girl named Madison Galley uploaded a TikTok that started with, quote, keep watching if you want to see me expose Griffin Johnson. She then showed photos of messages from Griffin with messages saying things like, quote, send toes, see you in LA, and I'm single, by the way. The video ends with Madison getting a message from Dixie D'Amelio that just said, quote, hey, LOL. Chase's friend, Thomas Petro, left a little comment that said, quote, guess Chase wasn't lying. Suddenly, the comments toward Chase weren't so hateful. Some commenters said things like, quote, Chase doesn't deserve the hate he gets. I don't care. Griffin seemed to think the whole situation was silly drama and even tweeted, quote, who wants popcorn? But Dixie didn't find it so funny. First, she replied to him saying, quote, glad everything is a joke. Then she went private on Twitter. August 2nd, 2020. Dixie posted to her YouTube channel confirming that she and Griffin had broken up. She didn't mention if it had anything to do with Chase calling out so many of TikTok's biggest influencers, but everyone could assume that it happened because Griffin was exposed as a cheater. Present day. Because Chase was right about Griffin, many people are regretting the hate they gave him when he first posted about the TikTok cheaters. Now everyone is wondering if all the cheating he mentioned really happened. Fans have said things like, quote, Chase was telling the truth. Maybe stand Chase for telling the truth. And if Chase wasn't lying about Griffin, then he must be telling the truth about all the others. But even if Chase wasn't lying, was it wrong to make everyone's drama so public? What do you think? 
Let us know in the comments below if you think Chase did the right thing in exposing everyone's cheating scandals, or if he was just doing it to distract us from his crime of cheating on Charlie. And remember, this video is just meant to report on the news. Please never send hate to any of the people mentioned in this video.